But yeah, that's cool, man. He'd take a call from his mom. That's funny as shit. I am completely fucking lost now. <laughs> Just like I was there on Lombard Street. <laughs> I did get booked at a show on New Year's Eve that was in a predominantly black club. Now, the guy that booked me had only talked to me on the phone. And apparently, southern guys that really don't have very good control of the English language and African-American men sound exactly the same because he didn't know what the hell he was getting. And when me and my wife showed up, and it was 95 African-American folks and me and my wife, and he introduced me as my brother from another mother. <laughs> Swear to God. And you should have seen the look on the black people's face. My fat ass walked up there and they were like... <laughs> and the first thing I could think to say when I got on stage was, y'all as surprised as I am, ain't you? <laughs> but I have a, a strong appreciation for you ladies because I love black women. They're strong, they're independent, but you people are hard to deal with. Yeah. And I do understand why black men yeah. try to pick up white women, because white women are stupid. <laughs> so you drive a Ferrari? How much money do you make? Really? Oh. 